In this tutorial, I want to give you some tips on some of the shortcuts and features inside of Groove Animator that'll help your workflow a little bit. So let me just kind of point out a few things here for you. So when you're getting started, you might often want to add some art. You can just go ahead and click on something in one of the categories in the library here, and it'll add it to the stage. We are working on drag and drop, but it doesn't work right now. However, drag and drop does work if you drag something from your computer onto the stage, like an SVG file. Um, and you can do that directly. I'm not going to show that, but that is something that uh, I just wanted to make a note of that. Now on the timeline here, you can see here that I've got this uh, animation already applied. I'll talk about more of that in a second. And if I can, I can click on the space bar and it'll turn off the play and it's cool. So that's kind of a, pa um, a little kind of shortcut. You can stop and start things with the space bar. The, uh, let's go. Okay. So let's apply some animation now. So see here that I've, I'm over here on the animation tab and there's a bunch of different animations and I've already got this one it's animating multicolor it's set to appear which basically means it doesn't fade in or fade out or draw in or draw out and I've got this color palette so let's actually let me show you a, a little shortcut here to apply a different color palette so I'm holding down the control key you can also do the right key and or on a Macintosh you can do kind of a two finger on your trackpad and um, I'm holding down the control key. It's a little bit easier for me. I'm used to that. And it emulates a right click. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and select all four colors at once so I can click. You know, I don't have to click on each color ind individually if I don't want to. So there's a shortcut for that. And then now of when I want to apply the animation, we have a Groove It button over here. And I can apply it that way. Or I can come here and let me go ahead and change this to a different animation and change it to a different color palette so we see the difference. And this time I'm going to click on, hold down the shift key and hit the space bar. And that's gonna, uh, that's gonna work the same as the Groove It button. So it'll apply that animation to the selected art. And that's a nice little shortcut. The shift space bar key is just a way to do a quick app applying the animation to whatever settings you have here. And there's a lot of different settings. I do wanna point out that a lot, many of these can be, um, you can have multiple settings. Now you can't have a draw in a stroke animation at the same time you have a dash animation, but you can have something like a stroke animation and say a fade animation or a zoom animation. So some of these can be combined. And in other tutorials, I'll show you how you can also kind of combine them on the timeline by adding blocks and then kind of overlapping the blocks with something like a fade and everything like that. So there's a lot of built-in user-oriented things like this. I just wanted to give you this kind of first look at some and just to, you know, to help your workflow. Um, you're, you will find that you're adding animations a lot and it's very handy to have that uh, space, uh, I'm sorry, the shift spacebar shortcut. And you'll be finding that you're wanting to preview, you know, here on the timeline a lot. So it's nice to know that space bar uh, option there. And then finally, I find that I'm deleting things on the stage quite a bit. So it's very nice to be able to just go ahead and delete. Oh, one final tip here is let's say that you have a lot of art here on the stage and you want to just kind of start fresh. You can do the remove all and that's going to start you all fresh. So thanks a lot for checking this out and check out some of the other videos on how to get more out of Groove Animator.